ways to get the camera tested before you get these things going from what it looks like. Okay. So far, so good. All right, good. Welcome, everybody, to Weather Overtime. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We've got a lot of cloud cover across the Mid-South as of right now, but we're also seeing, again, the possibility of more rain heading into the area. Early this morning, the chances of rain have been moving up from the Gulf of Mexico and also off the Pacific. We don't have, again, a great deal of moisture taking place directly into the Mid-South as of just yet. We do have some scattered showers into and around Oxford, back down toward Tunica and over toward eastern Arkansas. Most of this is again moving into very dry air, or dry enough at least to where it's eroding a lot of this rainfall. So we're waiting for this to get overpowered by the more moisture rich air coming up from the Gulf, and that's going to be giving us the chances of rainfall for later on today. If you've never tuned in before, this is our video weather blog called Weather Overtime. This is where we take a look at the forecast across the Mid South for the next few minutes and tell you a little bit more about what's going to be happening on your schedule. If there's something you'd like to see on here that we're not covering, again, we try to keep it as timely as possible. Possible, let me know at austin.onic at wreg.com. It's forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen. Winds out of the east today. More chances for rainfall and temperatures back in the mid to upper 40s only. Heading into tonight, also looking at lows very close to the lower to mid, <coughs> excuse me, 40s. We'll be lucky to reach 50 degrees today across parts of the Mid-South, so not doing too bad out there, and of course rain chances, a lot of them. So not a lot of people out golfing this morning at Windy Country Club, no frost either, and temperatures should hit their highs in about the next couple of hours, about 50 to upper 40s into around the mid to late morning hours, early into this afternoon, not seeing too much of anything in the way of much colder weather, and no warmer either, mid to upper 40s across much of the area there. Airport delays this morning, not that much going on, cloudy winds out of the east, but delays the green icon showing a good news situation with delays of 15 minutes or less and across the continental United States major and connecting airports not showing any slowdown so definitely good news at this point in time rainfall yesterday nothing to report for the month we have nothing and we're already behind and our surplus for the year has dwindled to under half a foot so we picked up a decent amount of rainfall earlier this year but we definitely could use a lot more than that to help stabilize us from what we did not get from August through November and it's going to take a lot more rainfall to do that. Temperatures yesterday, 34 degrees, just below our normal. 64 degrees, just above our normal high temperature. 75 is the record high today, set back in 2012, and a record low that hasn't been broken since 1929. So seeing some very chilly temperatures much of the area. Now into the next we'll see chances of rainfall. Numbers will be again coming in out of the northeast and chances for rainfall will be continuing right on in through dinner time tonight, mid-evening and by News Channel 3 at 10 expecting more showers out there. Chances of rainfall continue and stick around off and on into tomorrow morning but not seeing again a great deal of major amounts of problems as in flash flooding. Could be some heavier amounts of rainfall out across parts of the Mid-South. Now severe weather threat for today confined to southwestern Louisiana and back into around the Gulf Coast of Texas around the Rio Grande and all the way back to around Houston, Galveston and into around the area of Corpus Christi, Brownsville picking up the possibility of maybe some severe storms into today. More of a generic threat into tomorrow. The area that you're looking at again uh, outlined by this light green shaded area, that's where we see again the potential for some very good possibilities of just generic thunderstorms, but outside of that we're not looking at anything in the way of severe weather. Now into around Monday, that's where we see the threat of maybe some more severe weather taking place into around portions of the Gulf Coast states and maybe moving a little bit farther up from the Gulf of Mexico and overspreading up the Mississippi Valley. That's where we start to see more problems in the area and it doesn't look like it right now. Again, from what we can see at this point in time, you're looking at the map for Monday and the Mid-South sees a generic possibility of thunderstorms, but nothing in the way of anything severe. At least that's the way it looks early Saturday morning. This forecast could definitely change as we go into the course of the rest of the weekend. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll keep you updated on the possibility as to whether or not we're going to be seeing anything in the way of severe weather. Could be a problem toward dismissal time, the warmest part of the day on Tuesday or Monday, we should say. 
and again by Tuesday everything should be gone. Chances for rainfall basically done and over with into about the next 48 hours early, but then chances of rainfall will start once again as we go into very early Monday morning and the heaviest rainfall expected well to the south of I-40 over an inch across northern Mississippi and back into southeastern Arkansas north of I-40, fractions of an inch, maybe a half an inch down toward around Covington and into around Harrisburg, Arkansas. Rest of the forecast again through today, temperatures back in the lower 50s to tomorrow, dwindling a bit as we get into the afternoon and evening hours. And then by Monday, showers early by commute time, better chances of showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. So that can cause a lot of problems for outdoor activities. Not to mention the colder air coming on through. Temperatures slide by the time we hit Thursday and some leftover areas of showers could turn over into maybe some snow showers by early Thursday morning. Not seeing anything in the way of major problems with snow, but again, could be a few flakes flying around out there. Drying out for Friday, still cold, temperatures in the upper 30s, and then back to rainfall chances by next Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. That's where we see again the potential of rainfall, still too warm for anything but a cold rain. Could be again a bit of a problem out there again as we watch the numbers change over the next few days. So please keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. Into Iraq, weather where the troops are. If you have friends, loved ones, family members serving in the military, got cloudy skies from Mosul down to Basra, including Baghdad, upper 50s to upper 60s. Clear skies around Najaf with numbers back in the lower 60s. Persian 70s in Doha and Bahrain for today, but just cloudy skies seen and not much of anything in the way of major weather moving in here. Likewise, Clan Faizabad at 57 at Kabul, 63 at Kandahar, and 70s back toward Herat, a little bit warmer in that location, and toward the DMZ in South Korea, and points south, numbers back in the upper 30s to lower 40s with clear to mostly cloudy skies reported across much of the Korean peninsula. Thanks to everybody who sends in the great pictures. Got anything you'd like to send in to me? Aonic underscore WREG3, JP Rock and Great Sunrise shot from Tipton County earlier in the last couple of weeks, including Deborah J54 with a great sunrise from around Humboldt a couple of weeks ago, and thanking Mike H. Forrester, a new contributor to our weather picture program from Bartlett, Breezy, great shot of his weather station, and about 45 degrees at the 7 o'clock hour. Got anything you'd like to tweet to me? Aonic underscore WREG3. Tune in for my forecast throughout the weekend on the EAB network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3, and don't forget about our weather app. It's available at your particular app store. Search WREG weather. I'll have more forecasts throughout the rest of the weekend. We'll also have updates on our astronomy blog called Skyblog 3. Yes, it's going to be cloudy. Yes, there's going to be more rainfall and not much stargazing going on, but there's a lot of neat things with astronomy online you can do, and we'll be taking a special look at that coming up later on this evening. We'll be posting that after News Channel 3 at 6. Again, mainly just rainfall in the Mid-South as we go into the rest of the weekend, but thunderstorms on Monday could be a problem and maybe some severe weather out there kind of sort of possible right now but that could definitely change so definitely want to stay tuned to news channel 3 and we'll keep you advised on that live and direct from the news channel 3 weather center in downtown memphis i'm meteorologist austin onick this has been our latest edition of our exclusive video weather blog weather overtime thanks for joining me and stay tuned for more on my complete forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on news channel 3 on air and online